Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen here at the office. I love watching other cooking shows. I gained so much from all of you, and today I'm going to share a recipe that I saw on Mimi's Kitchen. I love Mimi. I can't wait to meet her. But the name of this is what got me. Instead of hot dogs, she said she was going to make some bird dogs. Well, buddy, that caught my eye right then. So before I even do anything, I'm going to grate some of the uh, sharp cheddar cheese. And we will go from there. And this little grater will be linked. I love it. I saw Mississippi Queen using it, and I had to go buy me one because it's so easy to just grate your cheese. Now, I may need a little bit more, and I may not. So what I'm going to do, so easy to do this, I put just a piece of parchment paper right here, and I bought the hot dog buns that are top sliced. I've never bought these before because Mama Sue's kind of frugal and I thought, well, the others will be fine. But when I saw Mimi use these, I thought, I've got to have them. So, I'm going to make all eight. And Harold told me when I left home this morning, he said, bring me one home. I want to taste it. So, I'm going to have one for him, and then we're going to share the rest here in our little strip mall. See if they like them. But Mimi said, what you do, you open them up, and you're going to take eight slices of bacon. I cooked my bacon last night in the oven. And I loved cooking it in the oven because it was an easy cleanup and it stayed so uh, straight, you know. So I kept it in the refrigerator overnight, cooked. And then Melissa has <clears throat> heated it for me this morning. But of course, you're going to have to bend some of it down because this bacon is just regular. I use Smithfield bacon but it's regular tasting bacon, no maple flavor or anything like that. But it's like Mimi said, if you like that, you use the kind of bacon that you like. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to put some of this grated cheese. Just bacon and cheese would be good. I'm used sharp cheese. You can use whatever you want. But I did use sharp. I think I probably need to grate just a little bit more because we want to have enough. And you can always use cheese. So easy. And like I say, <clears throat> I will link that so you if you want one of these cheese graters. Instead of you having to say, where did you get it, it'll be linked for you. Okay, now, I'm going to put this in my oven that has preheated on broil. 
it's only going to take a minute because all we want to do is melt that cheese. So, I'm, I'm not even going to leave you. I'm going to just talk to you for a second because if you don't watch it, that cheese will burn. And we don't want that. We just want it soft. And when Mimi made this, she cooked her chicken, her chicken strips. And it's not hard to do that, but it's easier to go through Chick-fil-A or Jack's and get their chicken strips. And then you don't have to worry about messing up a skillet, but you do whatever you want. Let me make sure that's starting to. But y'all, when, when um, it comes to other cooks, and that's all I am is a cook, I get so much information from them how to do different recipes we do many, many of us cook the same way but there's always something a little bit different and i ordered one of mimi's cookbooks and it came uh i think it was yesterday i got it i love it and you know it doesn't matter that i have three cookbooks of my own I knew from just the very beginning of it, the salad part, man, I'm going to use this cookbook. So I've told you before, I'm not, we're not in a competition. I'm not. I want everyone to do good. Okay. All right. You see how it's sort of melted? I'm going to stick the bird down in there. She said she is, um, Mimi said that she has, she's real close to a college town where she lives. And she said she went in a place last week and there were a bunch of college age students in there. And she said every one of those college students had a bird dog. It's on their menu. So, you know, we in Alabama may start a new, a new uh, thing, maybe by you sharing this recipe. Now, she said she would put mayonnaise before she put the chicken. So many people don't like mayonnaise, and I don't know if our neighbors next door eat mayonnaise, but I am going to honey mustard. She put honey mustard on hers. And let me shake it. And so I'm going to put some honey mustard on mine. Y'all, that has to be absolutely delicious. Am I going to burn my mouth? Mimi, thank you. Oh, mm. my mama said, "Don't talk with your mouth full." These are so so good. As the saying goes, try it and you'll like it. I love this idea. And I think you will, too. Mimi, thank you again for sharing your wonderful recipes. And as she says, shine for Jesus. And I say, be salt and light. I'll be back soon.